everybody. This is Pam with Jesus Junk Journals, and we are getting ready for week five of our Art Journal Challenge 2023. So I've got my pages. I've already gessoed my pages, so just wanted to remind you about gessoing. Um, that's something you can do ahead of time because it takes a while to dry, and uh, you don't always need gesso, but I never know, so I try to you know, keep a couple of pages ahead. And so this week, we are using the scripture from Romans 1.16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. So I am going to do, I've already made my mind up that I'm going to do a landscape or a horizon, a horizon line. <clears throat> this really doesn't call out any specific image to me. So I'm going to go ahead and do a horizon line. Well, let me just work on that. And so the prompts for this week are texture, horizon, and collage. And as always, you can use the ones you want to. You don't have to use them all if you don't want to. If you have your own ideas, you can do that. But if it helps you, those are my three. Texture, horizon, and collage. And so I'm going to start out with texture and I'm going to use modeling paste. And this stuff, I love this stuff. Uh, when you put it through a stencil and then paint over it later, it's just so cool. So I'm going to open this up. And there are recipes out on Pinterest and YouTube, different places for to make your own modeling paste. Basically, everything we use is a combination of white acrylic paint, plaster of Paris, and um, glue, it seems to me like. So with those three things, you can pretty much make all the basics if you know the right amounts to put in. So there is a way to make it yourself if you want to find that. So I'm going to also use a plastic uh, palette knife. Let me get it cleaned off here. I was using it earlier for something else. So I'm just going to use this plastic palette knife that came with something. <laughs> and this is uh, what I use for my any kind of stencil paste or modeling paste. They make colored paste that you can put through a stencil. It comes like this. It's kind of expensive. Again, you can make your own, I'm, I'm told. <laughs> so however it works for you, that's what I want you to do. And so, of course, this is going to be a little difficult because I want... What I thought I would do, I found this stencil I had, and I thought that I would use this flower as a sort of a sunrise. So I'm going to offset it, because again, one of the rules of design is you don't ever want to put something dead center. You pretty much want to take your area that you're going to paint and divide it into thirds, height, and width. So in other words, if you draw in thirds, like divide this into thirds, a third, a third, and a third, and then a third, a third, and a third. You would basically have like this. And wherever those lines dot, uh, intersect, that's really a good place to put your focal point, generally speaking. Not dead center, it's just, it's not very interesting uh, to the eye to have it dead center. So it's better to offset it one way or the other. So with that in mind, I think I will put it over here. And so what you do is you just take some of this modeling paste and start to hold your, temple, your template down. And you just kind of put it on there like peanut butter on a sandwich. And as thick as you want it to be, don't want it to be super thick so your journal doesn't want to close or that it causes problems for you later, but just spread some on. And then carefully, you just lift your template up and it leaves this texture. And then you want to make sure that you quickly or fairly quickly before it dries. Clear, clean that stencil off because you don't want to ruin your stencil. So I am going to 
go away and let this dry and then I'll come back and go from here. So be right back. Okay, so my texture's dry now and I <laughs> sort of have a plan, but I kind of don't have a plan. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking a horizon line. This will be the sun, probably sunset, sunrise. And you know, I was going to do a subdued one, and this is definitely not going to be a subdued one because of the sunrise. Ah, I just can't seem to help myself, and it's always in the pink and orange uh, family that I end up in. So what are you going to do? So I'm taking white titanium uh fluid acrylic, golden, golden fluid acrylic paint, and I'm just gonna um, put a layer of paint down first to kind of cover up this yellow, yellowy brown color of my, um, <laughs> of my cheap gesso that I use. You might not have this problem if you're using regular gesso that's white. I'm just going to Okay. All right, so I've got sort of a white a coat, a, a coat of white paint, and I kind of want to work while it's still kind of wet. Um by the way, I do not know what I'm doing, just so you know. Um it's as much a mystery to me as it is to you what we what we're gonna do. So um, hopefully you realize you're not here watching me because I have all the answers. You're here watching me just as as I kind of figure it out as I go, and I'm guessing you probably do too. I have some orange, uh, the Amsterdam ink that I think I will put just to see what happens. I'll put that on the sun. And I'm kind of going to have it run both ways. That's my thought. Let me get my straight spray water, which of course is almost empty. <laughs> and let that run. Looks like it needs a little bit more. And turn it all the different directions. To sort of make the rays of the sun. Ah. And then I'm going to let it run down here. So I guess it'll sort of look like reflection on water maybe. <laughs> or something like that. Okay. So there's that. <laughs> and then, um, let's see. Do I want to dry that? I want green because, of course, it's a landscape. I have this uh, olive green deep Amsterdam acrylic ink. So I'm going to put it along the so-called horizon line. And... I'll do some also some burnt sienna and some raw umber so I'll have just kind of drips of that okay we'll see what this does <laughs> oh and you know what I need to fill my water up so let me do that because I'm going to need it Okay, here we go. <laughs> I 
I'll let it go sideways a little bit and a little bit. And I'm gonna go just a little bit more. Water. Okay, all right, okay. Well, that's sort of what I thought it might be like. So I'm gonna let it dry. Okay, this is almost dry. And you know, I said I was gonna get away without pink, but I, I can't do it. <laughs> I just can't seem to not be crazy. So here is my Bubblegums Pink uh, Mica Spray in this Dilution Shimmer Spray. And I'm gonna do just a little bit around the sun because it is sunset or sunrise or whatever. So I'm gonna try and just do a little bit and then spray that with water and let that run just a little bit. Or maybe a little bit more. Because <laughs> it seems like pink is around the sun when it comes up. Whoops. Okay, I'm gonna stop for real <laughs> and let that let that be my sunrise. Okay, it's pretty dry now. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my matte heavy body medium and I'm going to collage some scraps. And so I've got my little bucket out of small, uh, like neutral scraps. And then I've got one with blue and blues and greens. So I'm gonna try and stay in sort of the natural colors and just Tear some small pieces of paper and glue those here and there to just kind of build up little bits and pieces.
I'm going to stop with the scraps. And I kind of feel like I want to reemphasize that horizon line now that I've got the scraps there. So I'm going to take my sepia. I kind of want to do black, but I'm going to take my sepia. See if that's dark enough. And I'm going to do... I guess I better get this stuff out of the way. I'm going to let it run sort of down... that and spray it just a little bit with water and see just to kind of bring that and I think I'm going to do it across the sun too because I'm thinking you would have a line there if it was land think you would. Uh, just a little bit. And I'm going to let that dry. Okay, so this is all dry. And I'm thinking about the next step. <laughs> like, what do I want to do? And how can I, you know, make this speak to the scripture that it's for? And I also have some of this I want to add just for texture. I'm going to add a few pieces of this cheesecloth that I've coffee stained. Not sure exactly where. So I'm going to get my gel mat back out. And let's see. Look for a likely place. I think. Maybe just like right here. Okay. All right. And do I want to add any? Oh, I'll put a little bit over here. It's one of these small pieces. I kind of need it down here. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry. And so now I'm thinking about how am I gonna put my words on there. And I've been thinking about, I want to highlight the gospel in the sunrise, I think. So I'm gonna do that. So I think I'm going to cut this apart maybe. I'm gonna try this first and if this doesn't look right, I might um, hand write it, but I'm gonna try this first.
And I think I'm going to put a dot, dot, dot here and just put this part of the scripture on here and leave this uh, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. I'm going to leave that off. Yeah. Let's see. Let me move this over just a little bit. Get this all on one scoop, I think. Mm -hmm. For it is like that. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to use some liquid pearls. Okay, well, I think, let me get my, get my black watercolor um, Stabilo pen out. Use my water pen, pencil.
Okay, I think I am done with this one. I'm gonna let it dry. These, I use the um, liquid pearls for these little things here, and so that takes a long time to dry. You don't want to touch it because it will mess it up. So I'm gonna go set it over on a shelf and let it finish drying. But I think that's it for this week. So I hope you enjoyed watching it. And if you did, please click the like button and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.